Hello, this is A with Fast Days today. Looking at the Bosch washer. Um, I'm not sure what series it is here. I can't open the door just yet, so I can't look at the model. It's like a three or 500 series, but it doesn't have a spin cycle. There's no spin cycle there, or, you know, spin only cycle. Um, it's got water in it. Um, I'm gonna guess it has something to do with the drain pump. Um, but how we get this thing to drain is we're gonna hold uh, spin selection and delay start. Hold those two buttons. You're gonna turn the dial to cold. Keep those buttons held. And there you go. Then you're gonna use spin spin selection to get to P4, PO4, then hit start. It beeps at you and starts the drain pump. Um, you can't hear the drain pump running because it's locked up. I can hear it humming. Um, so what we're gonna do is probably change the drain pump on this. Uh, we're going to have to clear out the drain and uh, um, see what the pump looks like, see if there's something in it, or if we need to replace it. Uh, we'll get back with you as soon as I can start draining out the cycle, draining out the washer. Oh yeah, to stop the cycle, just to stop the uh, oh, diagnostic cycle, just switched off. Okay, we're back. Um, forgot to say the customer complained that it was F13 and what, the door wouldn't open. That was the customer complaint on it. Um, or E13, what it is, Bosch with the Bosch front load. Um, now here is where you get to see at the front of it, lower right hand corner. Here's the drain clean out for this. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take something like a paper clip or something like that and stick it in that hole. Just like that, push in, and you're gonna twist this door just like so. You see that? There you go. And so there is a drain pump clean out. Okay, I figured we'd try something here. You see, I've got that bag tied over the top there. I just got one handle over the top and wrapped it up back around that opening. We're gonna try to see if that can help us from getting water all up inside of it. Um, we're gonna let's try. <laughs> well, let's find out. So far, so good. Almost full. I like that idea. I'm gonna coin it right here. The Walmart bag trick. On a Bosch dishwasher. We're gonna make it. We're almost there. Let's just go ahead and stop. We're gonna make it. We're gonna go ahead and make it. I think we'll make it. I think we're good. Let's go ahead and take that loose. I think it's full of stuff. What do you think?
Okay, so we're gonna clean this out and see what happens. But that's the Walmart bag trick though. You just take one handle and go through the other. I'm gonna kinda of take it apart here to show you. But um so you just take one handle and you you take the bag, fold it, you know, just uh, fold it, you know, like it like it was just flat, you know. Take the handle side, wrap it up underneath the pump, over the top, and over the top of it, and take one handle and go through the other and pull tight. And that kind of holds it in place. Um, to, so that you can get your um, water to drain right. But we got stuff up in there. We're going to see what, happen, what we can do with that. Oh yeah, it's just a sock. Yeah, I'd say that pump's bad. See how loose that thing is? We're gonna do a pump on it. That thing is really loose. See how it just slips on that shaft? So, yeah, we're gonna do a pump on it. Um. I'll get some of this stuff out of the way here, and uh, we'll start taking it apart. Um, I'm going to get this bag out of the way. Well, I really want to show you guys on camera. Here, let's just just take it loose here. So let's when you take it loose, we're going to take this one handle off, like so. Just want to grab both handles, okay? Keep it lift up. See, I got both handles there. Try to get it up around this thing. And look at that. There's nothing more beautiful than that. Oh yeah. I wonder how many of you guys out there, technicians, uh, what do you have problems with that. <laughs> Water all the floor. Anyway, move our water out of the way here. Just a couple of drips. We ain't got nothing on the, on the, Ground below it though. Oh, one drip. One drip. A lot better than what it usually is. I guarantee that. Alright. Um, time to start taking this apart. Let me see what I need to see here first. So far from where I can see, the easiest way to do this is if you can tilt the unit back a little bit. There's tabs if you push up on right here. Let me see if I can show you. Right here. You can push up on those all four tabs. And you can push that pump back and get the slide out of its groove. And you get it loose. From there, it's a matter of moving it, remove, uh, getting those hose clamps off. Which the one up top here just kind of snaps and pull out. That's just two snaps in the top of it. You kind of, you kind of, um, spread them like that. Like front to back. See, you see how like it's got a little shape there? Where it comes up to a point like that. It's going to, that piece will pull towards you. And there's only one on the back side. So you'll spread those apart. And that hose will come out. And the one on the side here, just got to get some, uh, Clamp pliers. Some of these dudes. It just locks down and get them on there. We'll go ahead and see if I can do this on the camera. I 
turning my camera off. But look at there, I did it on camera. So just push it back. Just put the clamp back. Luckily for these, they kind of twist. If you need them to twist. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna get access to it. See I can now I can get a hold of that pretty good there. See how I did that? And then once you get loose, just Oh, there it goes. Sometimes rubber just don't want to stick. So we got that hose loose. Again, we're gonna pop those tabs front and back. I think we can do it with our hand. We have to get our hand up in there. Just do it. Just Nike it. Oh no, it's a twist. You just twist it. You just twist the hose. But you won't be able to see it. You'll twist it like this. You twist it this direction. What is that? Uh, do clockwise. Twist it clockwise. Then pull up. Okay, so we've got that hose out, that hose out. Almost loose. I imagine we just have a wire connection, which now I bet we can flip that thing around and get to it, upside down. What do you know? I'm right. Look at that. Almost got this bad boy out of here. See, just like that. Snap tab, take this pump off, it's right there. And there's one right there. A little lopsided. Look at that. That ain't gonna work. Okay, so I'm gonna talk with the customer here. Get back with you guys. All right, we're back. Um, we went ahead and put the pump back together, cleaned it all out. Um, there's the new pump on the back of it. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and. I'm going to slide that thing back in there because 
I can do that so much quicker um, without having the, the camera on. Um, I'll make sure to show you guys when I pop that thing back in place. You guys see that? Because I did that with the camera off. Um, but, um, I, well, here, let's just see. Um, if I remember right, the trick was is to go front forward and just clock it until you get it into place. Just clock the thing until you get it to go in. goes in and then you just keep twisting it to get it to go the rest of the way. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna push it back that way. And there we go. She's in. A lot of this stuff is going to be filled anyway. See our plug there? So I'm going to flip it back upside down as we're doing this. See how I got up my hand upside down? The pump is actually in my palm. Two fingers are on the plug. On the plug on the cord of the plug, you know? And I'm, I'm actually plugging it in the back side of the pump with my thumb and forefinger. The pump is sitting in the bottom, like the back of the pump is sitting in the, in the palm of my hand with the, uh, the mortar windings, basically. So... What needs to happen is that plug... See how that needs to sit in here, on there? And then, you're gonna You're gonna flip it around. Flip it up. And drop it back down. Now we're getting somewhere. Now you slide it back. As far as you can, without damaging anything. Grab your hose that goes on the top. Again, if you use the other hand, this one I can't feel, but I'm just putting that hose up there in there. Remember, you, you, you're going to push down in there and then turn to the right this time. Because before it was. Uh, oh, no, it was let. It was. It was it was clockwise. It was clockwise. And now we're going to counterclockwise. Let's put it back on. I know you guys can't see anything, but you should bear with me on this one. See? Getting it in place. Push the right, push down, push the left. See. Now we get this guy. Real easy. Just sit on. Now there's a little tab on this one. Over the top of the. Oh. There's a tab right there you have to line up. Okay. I just, you can feel for it. My pliers back up on there.
There we go. I keep turning this thing off. up on there. Just see there. It's all up. Okay, so we got everything back in place here. Um, make sure it's like good and tight. Um, now we gotta slide this thing back. You see those right there? Just gonna push them, push the pump down and push forward. Let's see if we can do this one. Okay, we're gonna put that down in place. Okay. Sorry. Taking that pump in and out is definitely a two-hand job. There's no way I can hold the camera and put them in and out. But you can see where you gotta push in on the sliding back. Like you just push in right here, right here. You know, all four of them, and the pump will push back. Um, to put it back in, you gotta get all those lined up all in the same spot, and then pull forward and make sure these little tabs are you know, push it kind of out, which like a, I'd use a flat head. That one I could have pushed it a little too far, but I would rather hold in place than not. So if you kind of do that, I, I would say it's okay. Um, I just wouldn't do it on all of them. Just make sure it's just, you know, one or two from, you know, the maybe one on the right, one on the left if you have to. But the ones on the other side here are holding pretty good. It's just that side, I couldn't do either one of them to really... You know, pop down and, and you know, grab that metal and keep it from sliding back because uh, we didn't want it to come loose once we left. But, um, and then put this panel back on here. This is where the tab is. Lines up on that curve. Get your stuff out from underneath it, and we start testing it.